Jackson State is a finalist for four-star receiver, big-time player. And we're going to talk about what he could add to the Tigers if he decides to go to JSU right after the bump. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey, Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel of Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Jackson State is a finalist, a top three finalist for a young man out of the state of Arkansas. It's not a place you hear about a lot of top recruits, but this four-star receiver could be a big get for the JSU Tigers. He goes by the name of Isaiah Kendall. Let me go ahead and share my screen here and take a look at Mr. Kendall, what he put out his finalist, his graphic for his top three finalists. There you go. Let's take a look at it. His top three is Arkansas State. Of course, he's from the state of Arkansas. Jackson State and Indiana. Those are his top three for the six foot four four-star receiver, one of the best players, if not the best player in the state of Arkansas in the class of 2023. The young man was suited by a number of schools, and we know Arkansas isn't the no, it's isn't a hotbed for recruits, but when they have some good players, trust me, they have some really, really good players. The guys are high and talented. Let's go ahead and take a look at Mr. Isaiah Kelly's 247 sports report because, you know, that's what I like to look at. He's a four star, a uh, top 300 prospect in the country, six foot four, 175 pounds out of Newport High School in Arkansas. Uh, a bunch of offers from, you know either Power 5 or non-Power 5 Division 1 prospects, I think JSU's got a good chance of landing this young man. Six foot four, 175 pounds. You know in an offense that's supposed to be air raid. You know in an offense that loves to get the ball around to the some of the best weapons in all of the swag. And you know with the size that this young man has, that can come in and be an immediate impact. We saw it last year with Malachi Wideman. Once Malachi hit the ground running, he struggled the first couple of games, but finished the last, what, eight games of the year, seven games of the year with 12 touchdowns, tied for first in the SWAC. Big bodies are always good in air raid, pass happy offenses. They give your quarterback a huge target, both in the red zone and in the middle of the field. I think this young man, Isaiah Kelly, out of Arkansas, with his top three being Indiana, who loves to throw the ball around a lot, and Arkansas State obviously showing the hometown team some love. But Jackson State is the team to beat in this case. And if you take a look at the Twitter, at his Twitter, and at his finalist tweet again, a lot of times when you see a lot of engagement by one particular fan base, it kind of, not always, but it kind of gives you an insight to how the young man is thinking. If you look at him, there's a J State tweet, a Jackson State tweet, the I love tweet, more Jackson State tweets, more JSU tweets, bunch of bunch of JSU stuff on here, man. Now, once again, that doesn't that doesn't always mean they're going to choose. You see Arkansas State in there a little bit now, but a ton, ton, ton of Jackson State tweets. A lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times that gives you to what they're leaning into. That gives you an insight of how the recruit is thinking, gives you insight to where they might be leaning. Not always, though. I want to make that specifically clear. I think this year and how Jackson State is able to use their wide receivers, their plethora of wide receivers, will also give us indication of how many more receivers they'd like to bring in for next year. And because this young man's only a senior in high school, he won't sign until this. December and by December we'll know how Jackson State offense will look. I think this is big. He could be a big time target. And the thing is, he's a four star, and, and some say he's a three or whatever, but he's a composite four. And you, ha these are still wins. I know a lot of times, you know, we get enamored by the the number one player in the country, Travis Hunter signing, or a, a top forty player and a Kevin Coleman signing. But even wins with players in the top three hundred were still players you weren't getting in years previous out of high school to Jackson State or out of high school to any HBC, not just Jackson State. So I think the wins in the top 300 players are still big time wins as far as on the recruiting trail. Also, you never know who you get in the building and how they will surprise you, how they will be able to impact the team and how will they be able to actually come in and contribute and help you win SWAC championships, help you win celebration bowls, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's also about having depth as well. So maybe 
they aren't starting in year one, but by year, but they're giving good rotation. And then by year two, they are an impact player. So uh, Isaiah Kelly is a name for Jackson State fans to, to remember. He's a top three finalist, Arkansas State, Indiana, and of course, JSU. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out, and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JLighty7. That is on Instagram and Twitter at JLighty7. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.